Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Neo Shop and what items I think that you should buy. Now, the Neo Shop is separated into three separate sections. We get the Neo Stones, the Neo Gems, and the Neo Cores. The Neo Cores are obtained by defeating hard bosses like Hard Hella, Verse Hella, Dark, Hard Dark Nell, Normal Dark Nell, things of that nature. And the Neo Stones are available from daily capping, so just killing monsters around your level. And the Neo Gems are available through these two mini games. So one is like a little pony riding thing, similar to Temple Run. And the other one is just one car for now. I think it changes down the line. So Gem Shop is mostly the outfit and the annex story part of it. So what I suggest you get uh, at the minimum is the Aurora damage skin, which I think looks pretty nice. You don't have to get it, obviously, if you don't like it. And you can always get it to sell down the line, but I think it's pretty nice. Uh, these two damage skin boxes are okay too if you have extra, but at the very minimum, I suggest at least getting this to either have or sell down the line. And maybe the chairs too, if you guys are into that. Um, yeah, I personally probably won't get the chairs, but you guys can get it if you guys want it. And now, the Neo Core. Uh, wait, wrong one, top one. Yep, so for this one, it's I think one of the best shops in this, and I'll explain why. So, bonus potential cubes, I bought them all. Uh, there are five of them to start, I think, right here. I bought them out. Uh, I definitely think it's worth it. Super nice. Flames, you don't really need, honestly. It's kind of a waste to use flame, uh, use Neo Cores on flames. Bonus potential cube package, definitely. Karma Flames, again, not worth, in my opinion. And uh, pet equip scrolls, definitely worth. If you guys have pet equips to scroll, definitely worth getting. Uh, especially because I think the VAC pets are coming back uh, by the end of the month, around the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. So, next week. And the accessory for a weapon attack, that's pretty nice too. Now, keep in mind, the whole event caps you at 4,000 gems total, or 4,000 cores total, I should say. So, just bear that in mind when you guys are purchasing these and just do the math on how many of these scrolls you can buy and unfortunately you cannot buy out the whole shop you can't buy out the pet equipment and the accessory and b pot cubes here it just doesn't work unfortunately it's kind of whack in my opinion but it is what it is next thing muscle shop muscle shop is uh nothing really too fantastic honestly uh, the 17 star scrolls are not really worth because you can get to 17 stars pretty easily. Uh, you can get it depending on your luck. Uh, it might be worth it for you, but it's definitely not super worth in my opinion, but you can definitely get it. It's definitely something to consider. And accessory scrolls for attack. This is definitely worth as well. If you guys have accessories you need to scroll, it's basically a prime scroll, honestly, but instead of scrolling for strength, you're scrolling for attack, which equate to around the same stat as a prime scroll, basically. And nothing else on here is worth, and obviously, if you guys have... If you guys are in a world where Fairy Heart is very expensive, then get Fairy Heart, but it's not worth for Barra, at least. Then we come to this shop. Uh, this shop, nothing super interesting. Uh, I suggest buying pendant slots because they're pretty free. And the Neo Gems for Monster Life. Uh, I have quite a bit of these, but you know, I buy them anyways. Symbol is definitely not worth. Uh, I don't think it's worth buying the Medal of Honor, no stones, because they're very easily obtainable nowadays. So nothing's too special from the, the top part. Experience no stone, definitely worth. Why? Because you get to use these, and I suggest using them on mainly the will skill, so Arachnid Reflection right here, and also the new Seren skill that'll be coming out in, I think, a month or so. Uh, Chaos Circulator, if you guys have enough gems and you need, guys need to use this, definitely get it. It's pretty decent, and they give you three, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I only got one for the last event, but it was all I needed, so whatever. Uh, Legendary Circulator, uh, not bad. It's, it's If you guys have enough coins, get it. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. It's pretty OP in my opinion, but the gems that it costs are pretty OP as well. 
And now we come to the Neos shop. Uh, nothing here is too crazy. Uh, golden hammers, if you guys need it for scrolling, get get from here. Uh, potential scrolls, these I don't really think you should get. Um, Karma, Rebirth Flames, and Rejuvening Flames. So this is where you want to get the flames if you need flames. Now personally, I do need flames. So I will definitely be getting these flames when they are released. And the Karma Meister Cube, 100% recommend. Definitely get it if you need to cube something. Because they give you 30 of them. Which is absurd. Uh, 17 Star Scroll. If you guys want to use coins instead of the 1.5 belt before, you can just can purchase this. Uh, assuming you guys have enough coins, it's definitely not a must, but it's if you guys have extra coins, you might as well. Unique potential scroll, I can't really make an argument for this because this is very expensive and tiering to unique is very easy in my opinion with just Master Craftsman's Cube, so I don't think you should get this. If anything, I think you should get the 17 star scroll over this, but yeah, that's just my recommendation. Uh, that's what I went through. And then the last one, we have the Crystal Challenge, and this is basically getting one level for however many coins you have, I guess. So for me, I'll most likely just be getting these 40k ones, because I'm just going to use them on my main, my Kaiser. Uh, if you guys need to level up on any levels below 250, uh, 240s, just look at what level ranges you guys want, and if you guys are already beyond 250, I suggest maybe possibly leveling your links with these, because these are very useful, and surprise, they're not really capped by quantity in terms of how many you can buy. So definitely worth if you're trying to get level 3 link skills, it's basically a quote unquote free level 3 link skills. Uh, like for this one, you just get a level 200, drink 10 of these, and bam bam, you're basically good. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Uh, leave a comment if you guys have any questions below. Be sure to subscribe for future content regarding MapleStory and guides. And I'll see you guys in the next video.